OK, you've downloaded the DT at Home Activity Wombot Carrot Hunt. So, what's it all about? Well, our old friend Wombot is very upset. Wombot has lost five delicious carrots. They're hidden in different places on this grid. Your job is to help find them. Some of Wombot's mates have come to help too. Each of them is looking around for carrots and telling you how many they can see. So this Wombot, for example, can see exactly three of the lost carrots somewhere along the lines looking forwards and sideways. By putting together all of the information from the different Wombots, you can figure out where the lost carrots are. You've got some carrot markers to place on the grid where you think they are, and a pile of no carrot markers to fill in the other spots on the grid. And if you don't want to cut out all of those markers, you could use coins or cornflakes or something else you've got lying around. So that's fine. How do you actually solve this problem? Well, you could start guessing, but there are a lot of places the carrots could be hiding. It's going to be easier if you follow some simple steps, an algorithm, to help you narrow down your search. Here's the first thing you can do. Are there any Wombots that can't see any lost carrots at all? Well, here's one. Down here on the grid at E1, there's a Wombot with the number zero on it. That means that there are no lost carrots along the lines in front or to the sides. So you can put the no carrot counters on all of those points. Any other Wombots marked with a zero, you can do the same. All right, here's another tip. Places where lines from different Wombots cross over are good places to hunt for lost carrots. See, this Wombot can see two carrots somewhere along these lines, whereas this Wombot can see just one carrot. Now, look at the places where their lines cross over. There might not be a carrot at either of these points, but one thing is for sure. If there is a carrot at one of the points, we know that the other one has to be empty because this Wombot at F2 can only see one carrot. If you carefully go through all of the Wombots, following their lines and seeing where they cross the lines from other Wombots, you can work out places where the carrots could be. And you might need to do a bit of guessing as well. So give it a shot, see what you can do. Find those missing carrots and make Wombots day.